Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobolman. In this video, I wanted to show you a trick in finding the best computer desk or the largest computer desk. There's a trick to it on how to do it. And I found that out by doing a lot of research because I really wanted a good computer desk that's big enough so that way I have enough space for my monitors, for everything else that I do. So I went as I went to Amazon, as most people would do. I went to Amazon and I just typed in computer desk. And by the way, Amazon is not the only place I looked at, but Amazon has all the choices that I found from other sources as well. So what I did, you know, I went in there and I looked for computer desks and this is what came up, this type of stuff. And this is not what I want because in my opinion, I don't like to bump my feet against the sides of the insides of the computer. And, and to me, this one looks, I need more space, I need more depth, and I want enough height because I'm a large guy. I want enough height for my feet so that way I'm not bumping into anything with my feet, my legs, because I have large legs. I'm six foot one. And this is something I have to specifically find. And then you get some cheap crap like this. And uh, to me, this is, I don't even know, like if you really have to and you live in a, such a tight, small place, that was my one of my bigger issues that I had. And here's another one. This is for me, to me, uh, this is another cheap $40 one that's just for decoration. You got the little drawer action here going on and you pull it out. And you know there's not enough room for your feet, probably not even for your arms, or not even for the entire keyboard and the mouse. That's not acceptable to me. And then you come across this other stuff, which is probably okay for most people, these L-shaped ones. And I kind of looked at these because they don't have the little separator in between. So yeah, if I put my feet underneath here, maybe I'll have enough room. But with my large monitor like this and other monitors, I wouldn't necessarily have enough room for that because I need the depth as well. That's not what I want. And of course, I planned personally before buying a com uh, computer desk in buying a large monitor like this. This is a 42-inch monitor here that I'm using. And of course, I needed something big enough. So you can imagine. And of course, I ended up buying this specific monitor and I'll show you, uh, not monitor, this specific desk and I'll show you exactly what that is here in just a moment. And then I looked at this other stuff too. This is kind of uh, similar to the other one, L-shaped, but look at this. I would be bumping my feet against this. This would annoy me and I would have a lot of bruises on my knees. And then of course I looked at, you know, everything else that I looked at was kind of similar. I definitely don't want that. That's too small. That's just too plain. If you don't have enough room, yeah, maybe fine. It'll, it'll do for, you know, whatever it is that you need. But for me, I need a lot of room. And if you're watching this video, chances are you do too. And I looked at stuff like this. Here's another L-shaped, which is probably okay. But again, I don't have the depth that I want. There was something I didn't like about this. Oh, yeah, it was not... It, the depth was actually not in... Uh, this is not actual depth of this. This is assembled de depth. So this is not actually 59 or 53 inches depth as it says here. So this is after you assemble it, that's how deep it is. But actually you can see that it's actually L-shaped. It's not even what I wanted. So again, it would leave me with not enough room for my stuff. Of course, I looked at something like this too. This could be okay, but for me, I'm tall guy. In the end, I would probably end up putting my keyboard and mouse on this top glass shell part of it, which would still leave me with my feet bumping into this keyboard drawer thing, if you will. And that was not acceptable to me. So it took me a long time to find this and I could not find what I was looking for by simply looking for a computer desk. There's nothing that I could find. And, uh, you know, some of them look decent, this and that, but you know, it's, it was just not what I was looking for. So. I came across what is actually a, it's a computer desk, but it's also an office desk. And uh, it was part of, technically it's an executive office desk, but it's a part of a set. So you don't have to necessarily spend thousands of dollars to get this fancy furniture 
or anything like that. If you want to get one of these, this is an executive desk, but it's only part of the set. All you have to do is go to Amazon and type in or just click on the link below the video. There will be a link to it so you guys don't have to necessarily type in anything and just type in office desk office desk shell that's what it's called shell not shelf shell s-h-e-l-l -L. you go in there type that in and if you scroll down you will find the exact same desk that i have here and i'll show you some images so you guys can see before i actually had anything on top of this aside from the monitors um, if you're looking at this 42 inch monitor here i have another 24 inch monitor here but this is a 42 inch behind it i actually have enough room to put whatever i want enough room to put another monitor if i really wanted to and like face it the other way or something to have some fancy thing going on but when you scroll down you would find this brand which is called h-o-n and this is exactly what i bought i bought it from these people this is one version of that uh, this one is the little bit shorter one, but it's also wide, which is really cool for, you know, it's so wide. See, I really like it when it's wide enough where my feet are not kicking into the cables and all the stuff that's underneath. And you just have to look through. And again, you don't have to look through like I am right now to find the exact one. Uh, I will link it in the description so you don't have to dig for it. But mine was, I believe, labeled as Espresso. Yeah, let me do that. I think it was labeled Espresso. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I bought this one. Um, it's a bow front. This is the exact same one I have, except it's in different color. And it has these cable management. You see those little black toppers on top? That's for the cable management. Um, also pretty handy and it's the same height and width but mine is actually longer let me just go to this one here real quick so i can see and here it is this is the one i bought see how it's even longer this one is called bow style and i'll show you the pictures right now it, it kind of looks greenish to me whenever i look at this picture but it's actually brown dark brown color and it looks really nice it looks like very expensive type of wood. And uh, what's really great about it is that it's so wide and it's really, it's pretty tall. Like I'm six foot one and I can put my feet underneath just fine and move around. But they do have other options. So if you can't, if you don't have enough space for this long one like I have, this is the biggest one you can get. By the way, this is the biggest desk you can buy, period, with length and height. You know, there are some that are same height, but not the same depth and width. So this is 42 inches deep. And as I've showed you already, it's deep enough to put 42 inch monitor on it and not have any issues and have plenty of room to spare. It really made a huge difference for me having this type of large, super large desk. Here's a 360 view of it. And uh, I was able to use these cable management holes to route everything. So I'm routing all these cables underneath. And actually underneath here, I have a USB splitter that I've attached. So that way I can run. I put my computer, my desktop actually here. And I'll see if I can find a picture of it. I'll post a little quick video clip of it that I had from previous videos. I'll, it, I put it here on top of a surround sound receiver so there's a lot of room back here as you will see and running cables underneath here and then i run them up you know so with the receiver down and the desktop right here I, it's kind of tucked in underneath here so everything goes underneath here you don't see anything from this side and then it goes up up to these cable management holes and you can now see with the pictures that I have on how it looks like, how it kind of routes. And then I got my keyboard running like this. But of course, if you have a wireless keyboard, you don't have to run like this, any of this. But I did put a USB splitter 
and I just kind of attached it right here so that way I can just run things as I go and then I have my power splitter adapter kind of over here and then I got my subwoofer here and then I got surround sound and all that anyways guys this thing is huge as they say and I highly recommend it because it's so roomy by the way if you do get this it's very heavy you're gonna need somebody to help you out because this is heavy stuff this is really especially the top you're gonna need somebody's help to actually help you put it together but you know most of you uh it, it's only four pieces as you can see it's only four pieces so it's simple to put together aside from the fact that it's heavy so you're gonna need some help uh, to put the top on, on especially you know all right guys i hope that helps it took me a long time to find the proper desk for my setup and i'm super happy with it i wish you best of luck and if you have any questions that's what i'm here for i'll be glad to help you with anything that you may want to ask me don't be ashamed don't be afraid to ask me i am here for that specific reason to help you out so there you go have a good day